Hey there, welcome to the first of hopefully will be many videos like this and we are going to uh, um, put a spotlight on Acme Shoemaker. Acme Shoemaker is out of Beijing, China and they are a bespoke maker that also offers a, 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 range, of, a range of footwear that we'll get into. We are currently looking at their Instagram page which is really the main way that they are currently interacting with customers along with with their kind of foot presence in in medallion shoes in in China. Um, and this is really where I first found them was on Instagram. So it seems fitting to start there. So in this video we will kind of go over some of the basics about Acme Shoemaker, how to get in touch with them via email, and uh, really what my experiences are. There are many, many personalities out there like Justin Fitzpatrick, um, Jesper from Shoegazing Blog that have put out a lot of great, great and in-depth reviews and summaries of the, of the uh, Shoemaker. So I will not repeat what they have already put out there, but I'll, I'll give it my own take, my own experiences, and really base it on the footwear that I have from them. We'll start with an overview of the shoe details and really what makes them special. Then we'll kind of move into their last, the fittings and ordering process, along with my experiences with customer service. And then I'll also include some of the links for different resources that I've found in the description of the video. They are 100% handmade shoes. And what I mean by that is they make this shoe 100% by hand. The one exception which is kind of standard throughout the industry is the upper stitching is you know done on a sewing machine, but the heel stack, the welting or Norwegian stitch construction, bottom finishing, everything is, is done by hand. And basically what that equates to is with Acme Shoemaker, you are basically getting the same shoe, whether you order a bespoke pair or you order a pair of MTO or ready to wear. The main difference is it's on a stock last versus on your MTO or excuse me, your M MTM made to measure or your bespoke last. So value wise, uh, you know, the, it's an expensive shoe, but considering you're getting a full bespoke shoe, it's, it's extremely competitive pricing. But to jump into the last, this is the T89 chiseled last. And this is what I picked for my uh, Hanson Split Toe Derby. And as you can see, it is a, quite a classic and aggressive chisel, but it is still rather accommodating and, and fitting true to size. It is now their N83 soft square last. Uh, not as aggressive, but just a, a classic, um, very, very strong looking and good fitting toe. Moving into uh, one of the two boots that I have is the A20 classic round toe. On the boot, it's called the A20H last, but it's just, it's very elegant, uh, more generous round than, than most, but it is just, it's a beautifully balanced last from, from what I've seen and what I've experienced wearing them. And quite possibly my favorite is the Almond Toe last, which is the, the F75. Now this is the standard F75 on the single monk and it's very consistent fitting with, with the other last, even though it looks, looks to be a little more pointed. On the boot, the F75H is just as accommodating, if not even a little more. Um, now that may just be the pattern here, and that most likely is what 
what uh what i'm feeling in the difference there but ultimately it's consistent and what i'd say is extremely like true to size based off of experiences with other high-end fully handmade footwear overall kind of like a top-down view you can see the width the proportions of the last balance to the the size as well as the the lacing um, everything everything fits very comfortably there's a nice um, nice rise to the top line here again just a another angle that kind of shows the the proper like seated portion of where that top line hits and then also kind of see how the um how the where, you know where the crease line falls on the flex point and you know that that arch support that's built in there and these are other angles of the of the seam here if we look at the uh, n83 soft square this fits very similar in all areas um except until you get to kind of right here it feels this has a little a little less volume in the in the vamp and um slightly lower top line i believe it's it's ever so slight if it is and uh, uh you know a, maybe a millimeter or two um down in the in the vamp and it, this is this is really just from my you know feel i don't have the exact measurements for it of course but how, how it feels on my foot but it doesn't create any snug you know over overly snug fitting it looks exactly like how a, you know a proper fitting shoe should should look um this also gives you a nice view of of the soft square toe and how that really doesn't like eat into any of like the fit of the, the space that can actually like fit your foot in it there's still plenty of of room in the toe box for you know your your toes when he chuck a a20 boot last um really uh, it sounds like i'm going to be repeating the same thing here because the again it's very very easy fitting um now the chukka probably more so than in an oxford or the other last that the or the other models that use the a20 but for this it's it's very accommodating there might be a tad bit of excess volume right here but i mean it's a stock last so it's it's a you know not even an issue to mention to be honest but um looking at the f75 almond toe uh, that profile that is great but either way again kind of emulating the same thing here you can see just how like this is perfectly like sloping against my foot so it's a very snug all of these are very snug fits but that's how i like to wear the shoes and that's how i believe they're supposed to fit but so here you can just even see that even more here as we zoom in a bit um but basically yeah there's no no excess room anywhere but no spots that are like hot spots or overly overly tight for the f75 is f75 h being it's on the uh, chelsea boot but again um everything's very accommodating in a chelsea boot now the whole cut pattern tends to lend itself to that type of fit um so there is a little excess volume here right uh right across the flex point but it wasn't there to start and i think that's just a matter of the whole cut pattern you know tends to uh, you know be more forgiving because there's less seams so there's less pieces of leathers and joints um to stretch it's that one single piece so it's going to stretch a little bit a little bit more in my in my experience um but still looking at the the width the width of this is perfect um at least it's perfect for my foot um and toe box even though it's got that round pointed almond shape it's still fit wise accommodating nothing to really account for if you have a standard width foot um going with the narrower toe shape here looking at brief description of the break-in or summary of, of my break-in experience and i'll do a uh, break-ins for each specific shoe during that review but the main thing is with the heel it's something i've noticed with every pair that i've had but basically it's just a very stiff um 
sole or heel heel pad underneath but that goes away with wear now the shoe trees are all uh, lasted shoe trees the ready to wear made to order shoe trees is, is what I have in my hands here um, obviously made to measure and bespoke will be uh, fit to fit to that order to take a quick look at the ordering process this I've done all of my ordering through Instagram and I've had friends do it via email um, I would check the link in the description for uh, Jesper's shoegazing blog article because that has a lot more detail um, in regard to ordering and ordering options. Customer service wise, this is something I've touched on before, but I haven't had any issues and quite the contrary, I've had nothing but like great experiences to be honest. Um, so yeah, I, I'll leave it at that and maybe touch on it more in other videos but ultimately this is really just kind of a way to jump in and introduce the brand share what i've purchased from them so far and uh, kind of set the stage for some more in-depth reviews so i hope you enjoyed this and if you did make sure to like subscribe and set up those alerts thanks for watching